concerning hobbits. Hobbits have been living and farming in the four farthings of the Shire for many hundreds of years. Peter Jackson will always be best known for writing and directing The Hobbit, The Lord of the Rings, as well as the 2005 remake of King Kong. In 2004, Jackson's third and final installment of The Lord of the Rings, Return of the King, swept the Oscars and became the first fantasy film to win Best Picture, tying with Ben-Hur and Titanic for most awards. But before those big-budget blockbusters, he had a two-decade-long career of making low-budget New Zealand-based oddball films. One of the films that we've discussed on the show previously is Jackson's 1994 true crime film Heavenly Creatures, which introduced Melanie Linsky to the world. Absolutely not! Orson Welles! Ah! The most hideous man alive! Tonight, we are going back even further to explore the first phase of Peter Jackson's film career, the splatter phase. Specifically, the 1992 zombie comedy Braindead, otherwise known as Dead Alive, starring Timothy Baum and Spanish actress Diana Pinalver. You've got the bite! There's, there's some dit in the Jeep! <laughs> Like David Cronenberg working in Canada, Peter Jackson was able to get his early work funded by the New Zealand government. The New Zealand Film Commission gave Peter Jackson $3 million to work on this film. Thanks partly to the Film Commission, New Zealand has built up an array of technical talent. Brain Dead is set to be the biggest special effects film ever made in the Southern Hemisphere. 650 models, masks, and body parts have to be created. A rat monkey has to be given life. Like some of Peter Jackson's earlier films, it caused controversy for being extremely gory, played up throughout the movie for comic effect. Oh! Oh! <laughs> some in the media worried Braindead would embarrass the New Zealand government and provide no redeeming cultural value. In a way, this film is the sort of thing the government has decided to discard. Good. Great, thank you. Fantastic. <laughs> Brain Dead is the title. It's what's known as a splatter movie. The story is a bit of a mess. The screenplay had numerous rewrites, and several versions of the film exist, played at different lengths in different countries. for the Lord! Timothy Baum plays Lionel Cosgrove, a young man living with a strict and comically overbearing mother. He becomes romantically entangled with a young Spanish Romani girl named Paquita, who his mother disapproves of. While watching her son's date, Lionel's mother gets bitten by a rat monkey, a strange hybrid creature that carries a virus that reanimates the dead. Reckon they're only found on one island, you know? Story goes, these great big rats come scuttling off the slave ships and raped all the little tree monkeys. She begins to turn, her body graphically falling apart. Unable to kill his mother, Lionel tries to keep her alive as more and more townspeople begin turning. They're not dead exactly, they're just sort of rotting. Whatever you think of the over-the-top graphic gore and splatter of this movie and the relatively discordant storyline, it's a very fascinating showcase of Peter Jackson and his partner and collaborator Francis Walsh budding talent and how much they could do for a minuscule amount of money. Is Brain Dead an aspect of New Zealand that we want overseas people to see? I think it's an incredibly New Zealand film and of course, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's fantasy and people, people buy into the fantasy perfectly well but they still get to see a sort of Kiwi sense of humour and a Kiwi countryside. Anyway, before I introduce the panel, let me say, please like this video and subscribe to the Movie Night Extravaganza YouTube channel. Also, we are now monetized, so if you have any pressing questions during this live show, send us a super chat. We are absolutely obligated by international law, human rights law, to answer it. We also have a Patreon, patreon.com slash movie night extra. All of our after parties are available on there forever. Okay, let me introduce the panel. Jandrew World, illustrator, book cover artist, comic designer, and artist for Give Them an Argument, co-host of Movie Night Extravaganza, and Bad Takes. Conan Neutron, host of Britonic Reversal and the frontman for Conan Neutron and the Secret Friends. 
They just got back from touring on the East Coast, and I got to see Conan play in Peekskill, New York. It was pretty awesome. Jared M. Skolnick, horror director and editor, directed several short films, including Girl in the Basement and The Music of Eric Zahn. K.T. Baldessaro is an actress, director, and writer who wrote and co-directed and also starred in Girl in the Basement, along with appearing in quite a few horror movies. I, of course, am your long-suffering host, Forrest Miller. I forgot to introduce myself earlier. Without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> 